Before his reported death in Argentina, former One Direction star Liam Payne shared a cheerful Snapchat post. Observant netizens instantly picked up on his expression in what would be his final moments. According to his now-deleted Snapchat post, which included photos and a video, Payne described his day as lovely, seemingly enjoying quality time with his girlfriend, Kate Cassidy. However, despite the singer's bright description, eagle-eyed social media users quickly noticed his appearance. Morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. It's a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. We're such losers. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> he looks so sad in all of those pictures, one concerned follower commented, while another wrote, his eyes show sorrow and trouble, so sad and tragic loss. A third stated, he doesn't look happy to me, he looks a bit down in the eye, so sad, sicky. Payne also gave a glimpse of himself from a reflective angle. In one photo, he sits on a wooden chair, dressed in a gray shirt, light blue jeans, white sneakers, and a gray cap. The caption showed he was testing out a Forrest Gump Halloween costume idea. Another picture from Payne's Snapchat showed him on the couch with um, someone with a small dog asleep on their lap. The image background showed large windows, a sculpture of a rider on a horse, and a painting of a tree. Payne also shared the food they enjoyed during their trip to Argentina. Being on vacation, he revealed that he didn't have to wake up early every day. Additionally, Payne shared the desserts they enjoyed, including a layered chocolate pastry topped with whipped cream, a slice of pie with toasted meringue, and a small cake adorned with strawberries. Although Payne's posts appeared online recently, one user pointed out a timing discrepancy. These are from a few days ago, even if he posted them today because she flew back to the United States a few days ago. Following the user's comment, it was revealed that Payne's girlfriend had returned to Florida two days before his reported death. In a TikTok video, Cassidy recounted her travel experience and decision to leave Argentina. Cassidy said, I was so ready to leave. Honestly, I love South America, but I hate staying in one place for too long. And we're supposed to be there like five days, turned into two weeks. And I was just like, I need to go home. In the video, Cassidy showed herself seated on the plane, revealing that her seat number was 1D. She also shared details about what she ate while waiting for her flight and during the journey. Travel from South America back to Florida with me. I was so ready to leave. Honestly, loved South America, but I hate staying in one place for too long. And we were supposed to be there for like five days, turned into two weeks. And I was just like, I need to go home. Of course, my seat was 1D. I feel like this happens every single time I fly. I also get such anxiety before flying. So I like broke out in this like weird rash. I obviously ate a bunch of sweets at the lounge. They had like no food options. So I was like, okay, ice cream and cookies it is. I had a glass of champagne. I bought this neck pillow because I normally bring squishmallows on the plane, but I gave it to Liam. So obviously I had to have steak for dinner. Can't get enough steak after being in Argentina for two weeks. Steak is like definitely growing on me now because I feel like before coming to South America, I was so iffy about it. And then I got all ready for bed. I didn't know what to watch. So I was just like scrolling. And then I ended up finding that new movie Challengers with Zendaya. But honestly, it was like kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie. I really didn't sleep very good at all this whole entire flight. The flight was like super hot too. So when I woke up, I had 45 minutes left until landing. Thank God. I landed in Miami at like 6 a.m. And I was really expecting a nice sunrise, but nope, we got clouds and gray skies. I was so happy to be home. Oh my God, it was just so relieving. First thing I did, ordered a bagel, obviously with cream cheese because eggs gross me the fuck out. And then I got my clean bed. Bye. Additionally, Cassidy mentioned purchasing a neck pillow for the trip explaining that she usually travels with a squish mallow but had given it to Payne before leaving. Cassidy arrived in Florida at 6 a.m. and expressed relief at being back in the country. She captioned her post, so happy to be back in Sunshine State music. Fans reacted overwhelmingly to the news of Payne's passing without Cassidy by his side. One user said, 
It's so awful seeing his snap stories and then this. Others express concern for Payne's son, Bear, growing up fatherless. So sad and heartbreaking in his poor son. Gone too soon. While another echoed the sentiment, his poor son. Payne and his ex-girlfriend, Cheryl Cole, welcomed their son, Bear, in March 2017. He happily announced the boy's birth in a now-deleted Instagram post. It's a moment that I will never forget for the rest of my life and my favorite memory I have so far. At the time, Payne shared that their son had already captured hearts. He also thanked the public for supporting him and Cole in their new chapter as parents. Aside from sharing news of his son's birth, Payne reflected on Bear's growth. In a July 2023 YouTube video, he expressed pride in his son's development, describing him as awesome. He recalled a memorable moment when Bear texted him for the first time. Using his iPad, Bear sent the message, hello, to which the doting dad playfully responded with "ello." Bear quickly corrected him, saying it should be spelled with an H. He then marveled at how fast Bear was learning. He's far more smarter than I think I'll ever be. He added that watching his child grow was a fun and rewarding experience, calling him a wonder. Now that Bear is without his father, fans express their sadness online. So sad. Prayers to his family and friends. A heartbroken supporter shared. Someone else added, this breaks my heart. Rest in heavenly peace, Liam. Just months before his tragic passing, Payne shared new music with fans on February 23rd. He announced his single Teardrops, released on March 1st. In a separate Instagram post, Payne shared that the song came from many tears, not all his own. I hope you love it like I do, and not too many of you can relate, he shared. Liam Payne's final moments, enjoying desserts, sharing lighthearted posts, and reflecting on fatherhood and music now hold deeper meaning as fans mourn, recalling the joy and vulnerability he showed in those times. In other news, Argentine authorities continue to investigate the death of former One Direction singer Liam Payne, who died Wednesday at age 31 after falling three stories from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires. Payne was a beloved member of the group, which formed in 2010 after its members, Ed Payne, Harry Styles, Niall Horan, Louis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik auditioned for the X Factor singing competition series as solo acts and were brought together by Judge Simon Cowell to form the band. They became one of the most successful boy bands of all time with a loyal fan base of Directioners and a meteoric rise to fame on par with Beatlemania. Here is what we know and what remains unknown about the star's untimely death. Hotel staff at the Casa Sur Hotel in the chic Palermo neighborhood of Argentina's capital, where Payne was staying, called the police Wednesday evening with concerns about a guest who they say was overwhelmed with drugs and alcohol. Police rushed to the hotel and responded to the call just after 5 p.m. local time, and they later confirmed they arrived just minutes before the fall. The hotel manager can be heard on a 911 call obtained by the Associated Press saying the guest was destroying the entire room and added, we need you to send someone, please. The manager's voice became more anxious as the call went on, noting the room had a balcony. Officials said Payne's fall injuries alone were enough to cause his death, but prosecutors described Payne's case as suspicious, citing the likelihood that the star had been drinking alcohol and taking drugs. The office also confirmed all signs pointed to Payne being alone at the time of the incident, and authorities have ordered a toxicology report. Whether the fall was intentional or accidental remains unknown, but the public prosecutor said the lack of defensive injuries on Payne's hands indicated that he did not adopt a reflexive posture to protect himself and that he could have fallen into a state of semi or total unconsciousness. Buenos Aires police said they found Payne's hotel room in complete disarray. They saw various items broken and recovered packs of clonazepam, a central nervous system depressant, energy supplements, and other over-the-counter drugs strewn among his belongings. Forensics teams also reported that authorities recovered a whiskey bottle, lighter, 
and cell phone from the internal courtyard where Payne's body was found. Evidence collected from the scene, a statement from Argentine authorities added, suggested Payne was going through some kind of substance abuse episode. In recent years, Payne had acknowledged struggling with alcoholism, saying in a YouTube video posted in July 2023 that he had been sober for six months after receiving treatment. As police and prosecutors await the results of the toxicology report, they are continuing the investigation and trying to reconstruct Payne's final moments. Authorities said they took statements from three hotel employees and two women who had visited Payne in his hotel room hours before his fall. The two women had left the hotel by the time of the incident, the prosecution said. TMZ, a celebrity news site known for its scoops and tabloid sensibilities, initially included crop photos of Payne's body after the fall that featured his identifying tattoos in their early reporting Wednesday. After receiving swift backlash, the site pulled the photos. In the updated version of the story, the outlet wrote, TMZ has seen a photo showing Liam's body on the deck at the hotel with tables and chairs nearby and proceeded to describe the tattoos and how the image helped to confirm early reports of Payne's death. Fans took to social media to express outrage at the outlet for its decision to share the photos. TMZ did not immediately return requests for comment. The photos are still circulating on social media, as well as a video of a man jumping from a building on fire that users are mistakenly taking as a video of Payne's fall. Several other videos of falls or jumps from balconies have been circulating as well. X's community notes feature where readers can provide context and, in this case, debunk falsely represented content, are present on several but not all posts. The surviving members of One Direction, Horan, Tomlinson, Styles, and Malik, put out a statement Thursday saying they are completely devastated by Payne's death. In time, and when everyone is able to, there will be more to say. But for now, we will take some time to grieve and process the loss of our brother, who we love dearly. The memories we shared with him will be treasured forever, their statement concluded. Malik Tomlinson and Styles also shared individual tributes on their Instagram pages Thursday, each writing about their close friendships with Payne. All three wrote again that they are devastated. Malik and Tomlinson addressed Payne directly in their statements, each of them calling him their brother. Tomlinson wrote that he wants to be the uncle for Payne's seven-year-old son, Bear, and plans to tell him stories of how amazing his dad was. Payne had his son, Bear Gray Payne, with his former girlfriend, the musician Cheryl, in 2017. He is also survived by his parents, Jeff and Karen Payne, and his two older sisters, Ruth and Nicola. We send our prayers to Liam Payne family in this difficult time. Rest in peace, Liam Payne. 